Hey everyone, this is Manus from Blue Water Gear and today I'm going to be introducing you to two new lures from Six Sense. Okay, so the first new lure is the 6 cent Hogwala. It is a 5.8 inch lure and comes in a packet of 10. The lure color in this packet is green pumpkin juice, what we know as tilapia. So looking at the bait, the first thing you see is that very signature three dimensional ridge pattern, um, which creates a lot of action. And then the overall design of the lure, it comes from a hybrid design between a creature bait and a lizard bait. So this makes the lure very versatile, which you can use for more than one technique. Um, so those little legs, a lot like the, the stroker legs, um, the stroker crawl legs, will have a lot of action. So let's have a closer look. Okay, so looking at closely, you can see that that's 3D leg, um, body design next level will displace a lot of water and then that creature style tail was well to me it looks a lot like a brush hog style tail and then from the side you can just see those 3d dimensional ridges which are just nuts and the details of that little golf ball style type of ridge okay so the bait is symmetrical so in this case this is the color is um bluegill magic so because it's symmetrical the laminate of the two different colors will be even on both sides okay so how you can rig this i just showed three main ways the first one would be mojo one of my favorite techniques you can easily rig it mojo you can also use it for carolina i think this bait will work great for carolina rigging then the football swing head for deep fishing offshore rocks i think it'll have an awesome action and then something that I like to try more often is the Tokyo Rig. It'll just lift that bait a little bit higher off the ground. The second new lure from Six Sense is the Flush. The Flush is a 5.8 inch fluke style jerk bait and comes in a packet of 8. As you can see the packet is the clamshell. Many of the other lures have a clamshell. So what this helps is it helps your bait from deforming. So when you put it in your boat, put it in your car and move it all around. So it keeps it straight and the action perfect. So having a closer look at the bait, the first thing you see is the crazy detail, the scale pattern on the side. And the other first thing you'll see is that tail that goes all over the place. So that is mainly due to the little ball at the back of the tail that is there to help with action by adding a little bit of weight at the back. So there you can see on the bait you can see there's two pectoral fins, a dorsal and an anal fin, a horizontally forked tail and a keel style belly. So like I mentioned that ball at the back is, it adds a little bit of weight so it adds a little bit of action. The color here in my hand is a bluegill magic. So having a closer look there you can see the the pectoral fin, the dorsal fin, the anal fin and then back to the horizontal fork tail and then the, the keel style belly there we, with the hook slot, you keep your hook hidden and there with the pectoral fin on the side. It's a more detailed up close shot of the of the fluke. You can see the scale pattern is quite quite detailed. You don't see a lot on many lures. And then from the top the dorsal fin with a little slot at the a slit at the top. But I'll tell you more about that slit later. Okay, and then from the belly, just to show you the key, the the keel style belly, where you can put the hook in with the anal fin and the fluke, fluke style bait. Okay, two two ways you can rig this. So this color now is called baby crappy. It's also a very nice color that I'm really eager to try. You can rig this mojo. I think it'll be work awesome on a mojo. And then a style that I think most people will use will be weightless. The color of this is watermelon red sunfish. It's a beautiful color. But yeah, 
fishing this lure weightless i think will work crazy well with those um, pectoral fins which are to the side so that'll help balance out the lure as it drops and then as i mentioned to the top uh, that slit at the top it's actually to hide your your hook point and to keep it flush um, and that's actually where the name of the lure comes from from keeping the the hook point flush to the top of the bait with that dorsal flap at the top so yeah that's the six cents flush can't wait to fish it maybe i should fish more weightless since i don't do it a lot and then yeah thanks for watching